Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video I'm going to cover the Cuisinart Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill. Okay, let's jump right in. The Cuisinart Supreme Grind. Uh, this is another item I picked up at Target. The price was $59.99, but I should have got it on Amazon because when I looked just recently, I think it was $50. But once again, you know, prices are going to fluctuate. I just want to give that at time of recording price, which by the way is late December 2022. And I also want to give everyone the uh, some quick specs of this unit. So it's approximately 10 and 3 quarters inches high. The depth is approximately 7 inches and the width I measured at around 6 inches. And just keep in mind that those are just approximate measurements. All right, now we're going to take a look at some of the features. This is the hopper lid. This is the hopper. This is where you'll be putting your coffee beans, but only up to half a pound. Don't go over that. And if you do fill it, fill it like maybe 90% of the way, not all the way to the top. If you read the manual, they say if you overfill it, it might jam the um, grinder. Beneath the hopper, you'll notice a dial. You have 18 settings from fine all the way to coarse. Now, we're not going to, I'm not going to show all the settings or else this would be a very long video, but I'm going to show the finest setting, then the medium, a medium setting, and then I'm going to show the last setting, the most coarse setting, just to give you guys an idea of the range and what you could expect as far as texture and grind. And in front of your grind selection, you also have cup size selection, ranging from 4 to 18 cups. So 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 cups. And in front of that is your start button. And beneath that, we have the grind chamber. It's removable. The lid. And this holds up to, what did they say? This holds up to 18 cups, or at least enough grind for 18 cups. And before we get into the demo, the final thing I want to show is that this hopper is removable. You just twist it counterclockwise until it comes off. And I just want to show this for those who are interested. Those are the blades. There's some material in there from testing. And to replace the hopper, twist it clockwise until you start to hear it clicking and it's secure. And I almost forgot, it also comes with this little scoop and cleaning tool. That's pretty neat. And I believe that's equal to one tablespoon. Okay, I went ahead and I poured in the coffee beans. I'm just using a um, regular medium roast beans. And our first test, we're gonna bring it all the way to the fine setting. And that's the last notch on fine. I'm going to select four cups just for this test. And the minute I press start, it's automatically going to do its thing. It's not that loud. Yeah, but just listen. Okay, let's have a look. And by the way, you would use this setting if, uh, if you were going to make espresso. This is just for like espresso machines. The medium setting would be for auto drip coffee makers. And the coarse setting, like the more coarser grinds, that would be for your French, um, your French presses. And that's the finest setting offered. Um, please let me know in the comments below if, for those who have espresso machines, is that acceptable? I'm just curious because up until this point, I've never used an espresso machine. Okay, now we're going to test a medium setting. We're going to bring it right in the middle. Notch is right there, just in case you can't see it on camera. And once again, you would use this for your auto drip machines. And 
And our last test will be the last slot on course. And I'm trying to be as careful as I can, but you see what just happened? Some of the finer material makes its way on the roof of the lid. So every time you take it off, you're gonna get a little powder on your hand, so. Just wanna put that out there. So once again, I'm just gonna show a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. That's selecting the finest setting. That's selecting this medium setting right in the middle. That notch right there I used. And that's the most coarse setting. Okay, that's gonna be the video, everyone. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was helpful for anyone who's considering getting this unit or just comparing it to something else. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, especially about that fine setting for espresso machines. I'm gonna make a video using the medium grind uh, with a regular coffee maker. I was gonna add it in this one, but I don't want it to get too long. So that's gonna be it. I thank you for watching up to this point. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. That definitely helps out. And I'll see you in my next one.